All right, time to play some H3 VR. We just got a new update today, uh, part of the Alpha branch. Although, if you're still on Experimental, it'll still work. I'm still on the Experimental branch. It'll update nonetheless, so you don't have to worry about uh, not... Uh... Oh, you know what? I need to... Uh... I'll talk about that later. Let's see. Hold on just a second. Uh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. All right, yeah, so this is a uh, alpha update, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. And uh, we got ourselves a, uh, well, it's a pretty, uh, pretty small update. Well, small, considering there's only one new thing that was added. But there have been some, uh, some new changes to the, uh, to part of the game that, uh, well, we'll get into in a minute. But first, let's check out the new toy that Anton added. And that is the Pentagon. That's what it's called, right? The Pentagon? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so it's a revolver shotgun. Looks pretty good. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is a prototype. Hold on, let me hold the controller properly here. Uh, but uh, yeah, looks really funky, different, unique. And uh, yeah. Shoots 12 gauge. Uh, this is why there was a speed loader. Uh, other than the other, uh, the MT2S. Is that what it was called? Oh, I should, <laughs> I should uh, use uh, the other feature that was added, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Let me just uh, see if I can find it here. Uh, there's the Pentagon. MTS255. All right, so yeah, we had, we got the. Um, the shotgun speed loader, which is this thing, which uh, works on the uh, MTS-255, but also works on this one. So let's just take a look at the gun first. All right, controls. Uh, well, it's a um, break action, so we get the uh, revolver spinning feature. Uh, shares the code there, so. But uh, that's up on the touchpad. And then left on the touchpad, breaks it open. Yeah, left on the touchpad. And I think that's all the controls. Well, all the touchpad controls. So let's stick a speed loader in there. Get some shells. Oops. And uh, yeah. All right. And uh, as Anton uh, previously mentioned in the video, the devlog, uh, the gun does not auto eject its uh shells so you have to use the ejector here like that and we'll stick another one in there oh, there we go <laughs> I had to figure out how to do that again but uh, yeah let's actually look down the sights this time I really do like that it's brake action. Makes reloading a lot easier because uh, usually with the revolvers, especially the, uh, let's grab ourselves the uh, MTS-255. Yeah, see, it's not really conducted for left-handed people. When the uh, chamber, uh, the cylinder swings out to the uh, left side. So it's kind of hard to reload. So now this is not, this is a <laughs> this is my preferred uh, revolver shotgun since it's break out it's a break action. I still need to figure out how to how to close the uh, gun. I mean I can just do this, but. Yeah. Come on. All 
right. Uh, wait a minute. Just a second. I am going to lower my AC here. It's on high right now. Come on. All right, there we go. It's on the lowest setting. It's a little too loud. If I put it up all the way full blast, it's, it's very loud. <laughs> so I'm just going to... All right. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right, I'm going to I'm actually going to figure out how to close this thing with two hands. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little hard to do. Usually, with brake actions, it should be easier. I want to try something. Let me uh, spawn a brake action here. Oh, let me get rid of this uh, spectator panel. Let's get the double barrel. Yeah, see, you should be able to just grab it and then lift up. Right? With the uh, Pentagon, it's kind of hard to do that. Grab it, and then if I lift up, yeah, I can't really seem to close it, so that might need a little bit of fixing. But you can always just do it the cool way, which is to just flick the gun like a badass. <laughs> but yeah, see, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Oops. When you break open a gun, usually you can just grab the foregrip and then just move the controller up a bit. It closes, right? The Pentagon, it's kind of hard to do that. Oops. Let's just uh, ignore that happened. Yeah, I don't know why that does that, but that can be fixed. I think Anton will will be able to fix that. Also need to find the center of my play space. Let's see, this is right here. Okay, cool. All right, well, there you go. That's the Pentagon. You know what? Uh, I think Anton said that in the um, Discord that this has a... Or maybe in the video, I think he said that this has a, an attachment point. So let's go and attach something here. Let's try to get a rail adapter. Hmm. So we can put some rails on this thing. Rail extender? Let's get tall. Right? He said there was an attach point, a muzzle attach point, right? Probably not that. Maybe uh, it's just a suppressor. Chewungus. Huh. I thought he said. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. Oops. Come on, get in the thing. Oh, man, this is so long. This is not going to work. Yep, it does seem to work. Oh, no, come on. There we go, finally, okay. <laughs> yeah, just a little glitched out. I think Anton needs to fix that as well. There we go. Now we got ourselves a big suppressor. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's that needs a little fixing. <laughs> uh, let's just ignore that for now. I think Anton will probably fix that. Somebody will point it out to him. Uh, I'm a little too late on these things because, uh, well, I'm still playing them. But uh, let me just scratch the back of my head here. Oop. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's that's gonna be uh, that's gonna need some fixing. Oh, well, Anton will fix that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's uh, shoot this off with the suppressor. Oops. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That still has a little collision there, so. Hmm. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Don't worry about it. All right, so let's see. Let's uh, get rid of this for right now. Let me grab a... That should work. Uh... Okay, there we go. And then we can put an optic on this thing. Um, let's 
see, rail adapter. Do I, do I want a rail riser? I think I can put a rail riser on this thing. Put a rail riser tall. Okay, a little bit taller. That's all right. Uh, I'm going to put a... Let's see. Do, do, do. Where, where is it? Flat short. Rail extender long. Let's stick one of these babies on here. There we go. That should be good enough. And then we will stick a reflex sight on this thing. Something. Yeah, let's get uh, let's get the uh, this one. That's gonna be a little weird with the. Uh, yeah, it's blocking off that iron sight. That's okay. <laughs> that bug right there. That's funny. All right. Oh, I need to uh, reset the target. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So I'll make this uh, go a little further. Probably about uh, five meters, 10 meters. I mean, you know, a little too, a little too uh, distant for a shotgun, but good enough, right? There you go. That's the Pentagon. And of course, I think Anton mentioned that uh, saving and loading was back, so let's try it right now. Oh, uh, no. Okay. I thought it was. Uh, it's probably not. Maybe I'm doing it in the wrong scene. I don't know. But that's the Pentagon. I was going to save this, but let's just put that there. All right. <clears throat> oh, where am I? I spun around here. Moving right along, let me check the patch notes. We got some new wrist menu options, uh, as you saw a little earlier. Uh, when I had the uh, wrist menu up, you notice these two little, uh, little two options here. You got the toolbox and the ammo panel. So now that works. Oh, also the scene you can we can actually uh, Anton fixed that like right was as I got out of VR. I think Anton fixed that. Uh, there was a patch pushed, a little hot fix to fix the uh, bug where you couldn't exit the scene. So that's already been fixed. But uh, that's not the focus. We're talking about these two. So we can now spawn a toolbox and ammo panel. I don't know if we can spawn the toolbox in this scene. I think it's as long as there's the new uh, item spawner, you can. So yeah, we got a toolbox. Okay, cool. And then, of course, we can spawn an ammo panel. We've already got one right there, but there you go. If you need to... Spawn some ammo. Let's grab the pentagon. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this uh, attachments for right now. Because you're making a long gun extra long gur. Rid of that. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you got to... Actually, you know what? Select held type. 12 gauge. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the slug. Cool. Oops. Yeah. So, ammo panel. Now able to spawn. Toolbox. Now able to be spawned from the wrist menu. And, uh, yeah. Cool. So, let's uh, take a look at the new toolbox. Well, uh, not new, but it's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's now available in a lot of other scenes. So, yeah, it's available here. It should be, like I said, available in any scene that has an item spawner, the new one, at least. And uh, we'll take a look at some of the new tools that was added. So, we've got all the other ones that we've already seen before. Locker, Rotato, Dolitos, Cloner, Tractor open up this and no I don't see anything there thing down here no thing down here yes we got two new tools let me just close this okay there we go so we got two new tools we got the no clipper which uh, you know what I think I might have to find a bigger space for this so we will have to go to the main menu 
I should have done this earlier. I don't know why I was thinking. I completely forgot that uh, we had the no clipper. All right, let's go with a hangar because uh, that's a nice large space. Nice large empty space. All right. Okay, so. Relatively empty. I mean, they got all this stuff, but we can move all that, delete all that. All right, let's spawn a toolbox. There we go. That's cool. And then let's grab our tools, the no clipper. This is like a movement option. So we can go places. Woo. Just point the gun where you want to go. And then uh, you will go. <laughs> Let's fly all over the place. Oh, maximize speed. Not really for the faint of uh, heart. The ones that have, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, VR sickness. Uh, not, oh, I went <laughs> out of bounds there. But yeah, you can go all over the place. I'm Like I said, I'm really glad I don't get VR sick because I can do this. I can go all over the place. I can look up, down. Oh, I'm lost. So, yeah. And you can go to the lowest speed. Which, uh, yeah. We'll just go a nice, uh, yeah, this is a good speed right here. So we can do a nice little flyby. Pretty cool. <laughs> and I think that's all the options for the note clipper. Looks pretty nice, too. Look at that. Nice model. Hopefully the audio is recording. Just want to check. Yep. Okay. Uh, sometimes I mute the audio <laughs> for other microphones. So, but yeah. And I, if you want to really go fast, fly around. Yeah. I'm, I'm really glad. Like I said, I don't get VR sick. So, Whoop. Oh, nah. it's kind of hard to see. Actually, pretty unwieldy because here we go. Now we go all over the place. And of course, you can clip through walls. <laughs> That's why it's called the no clipper. So if you want to get a good uh, screenshot, here we go. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I'm not really too good at making thumbnails, as you can see through my videos. I just Grab a screenshot, put some text on it, that's it. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not that good. All right, so since you're no clip, you kind of, uh, oh, you turn into a uh, teleport. Okay, cool. Well, that will, I guess we'll go back to Arn Swinger. Yep. Okay, hopefully this, uh, yeah, all right. Because, uh, okay, that only, uh, it only switches over you over to teleport when you activate it by pulling the trigger. So I'm still in Arn Swinger mode, that's good. Cool, that's no clipper. Now we've got measurizer, which is a pretty cool tool, especially if you want to find out distances. So there's only one button, I think. I'm not sure. I'm pressing left and right on the uh, thumb pad, but I have to actually use it first. So basically this is a tool that measures things. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, Am I uh, moving a little slower than usual? Let me just uh, watch this panel here. That should lock. Uh, let me go. Input uh, controls. Sorry about that. I have to. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe I just got so used to no clipper being so fast that uh, <laughs> I feel like arm swinger is a lot slower. All right, cool. Whatever. Move this out of the way. Measureizer. Whoop. Well, that's weird. Oh, okay. So measureizer. So you can measure distances. That's 7.42 meters. Again, I don't know what left and right uh, touchpad does, but uh, up and down kind of delete things. So, you know, you can measure distances. I guess uh, we'll stay here, right? And then that's about almost three meters, uh, give or take.
Oh, that's about a half, 2.5, right? Okay, cool. But yeah, you can measure things now, so. It's about eight meters, okay. And that's pretty much all that this tool does. Really, uh, really cool. Well, it's a really cool, you know, tool to actually measure distances. Now, I don't know how granular it is. Um, 0.1 meter. 0.3 meters. Point two. Hmm, that's, I think, the lowest you can go. Point two. But, uh, yeah. It's good just for measuring distances. How far this wall is from that wall? 30.17 meters. Wow. Floor to ceiling? 12 meters? Really? Uh, maybe, uh, might be a little skewed because it's a little uh, not perfectly straight. Yeah, it might be a little skewed. Oh, well, that's all right. 12 meters at least. So, yeah, that's the measurizer. You can measure things. Distances. I can't really see that. <laughs> it's a little too far for me. Which, you know, that's why we use no clip. That's about, oops, come on, give me a, there we go, 34.31 meters. All right, but that's the measurizer and the no clip. Let me just actually drop that for right now. Uh, arm swinger. Put this back, actually you can just do that. All right, so those are the two new tools. I don't think there's any more, right? Nope, those are the ones we've seen before. Nothing here, nothing at the bottom. Of course, I'm saving the best for last. The top jar, we got some tablets. So we got two new tablets. We got object info, which tells us the info of uh, objects. It comes in these nice little tablet forms. Got little styluses. And uh, yeah, you can scan things. This one gives you information, right? This is the object info tablet, panel, whatever you want to call it. Well, let me just move this out of the way. All right, cool. But yeah, you can just point it at something. It's a, comp uh, it's a competition barrier. Got some info here. Round type. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Uh, some of these, yeah, you know, whatever. There's just, uh, you know, cool stuff. You know, if you want to, uh, this would probably be helpful for a lot of people, especially modders, like Anton said. But, uh, yeah, not really that useful for me. Unless you want to figure out how many rounds a gun has. Which, uh, you know what? We need a gun. So, let me just uh, move on to the second thing here information panel pretty cool but as you can see here we've got our own portable item spawner and uh, there have been mods before that have uh, portable item spawners but this one is a little more tied to the content uh, creation or the uh, war, um, game planner system that Anton's making so this makes uh, a lot more sense to have one of these so yep all right, cool. So pull out the stylus just in case, but now we can, you know, take a look at take a look at our guns, ammo, attachments, melee tools and toys. We can all spawn it from this portable item spawner. Uh, the text might be a little smaller, but this is VR. If you want something bigger, why not just move your face towards it? You know. <laughs> but that's uh, I think Anton said he was working on um, making it so we can expand the uh, the uh, panel itself. But for right now, this you know this is fine. So you can spawn things. Uh, you can just grab. Uh, let's grab a pistol here. Let's grab the uh, the new asp, right? And uh, basically to spawn, I think you grab the uh, stylus and you just. Oh, I spawned two of them. That's uh, yeah, sure. Why not? We got two of them. And we can spawn ourselves a couple magazines. Go. 
Just one, actually. And that's how you do it. Ah, terrible, terrible shot. There we go. Which, uh, you know. Uh, let's grab a couple of tools here. Locker. Forgot how this worked again. I want this to... Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. There we go. Okay, cool. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's how you do it. I wanted to lock it in midair, right? Cool. All right, and then you can use the object uh, info panel. Uh, this is an ASP, obviously. The firearm mounts. Uh, we got a muzzle. We got a stock. No ta uh, attachment mounts. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool. And you can uh, check out the uh, how uh, how much uh, capacity it has. It's got seven in the magazine, which yeah, yeah, uh, whatever default. But yeah, cool. That's what the object uh, info panel is. So yeah, uh, you got these new panels which make things a lot better. <laughs> so many things here. But uh, yeah, the, pretty much what this object, uh, uh, this, um, this portable item spawner is for is for creating levels. So now you can spawn things like targets. So let's get ourselves a standee here and spawn a couple of these bad boys. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah. Then uh, you know you want some you want some pots. Let's get some pots in here. Uh, destructible targets. Get some pots. Oops. Yeah, I think Anton will need to fix that. A little bugged right now, but that's okay. This is an alpha. Peppermints. And so on and so forth. You can, you know, you, you get the idea of what we're supposed to do here, right? But that's the portable item spawner. Then you can use the tools such as Tractor. Move this around. I'll put that right there. Let's move that down a bit, touching the ground. And then Rotato. Uh, how do we change... There we go. Okay. Okay. Oops, that's not the right thing. There we go. Let's rotate these pots, man. Ooh, that's uh that's not right. How do we... Oh, oh, no. There, like that. I'll move those in a minute. Okay, nope. I want to do this. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should tractor this first. On a lock. Kinematically, there we go, yeah, so that we can move this like that, there we go, and then we can rotate, right, that, sort of like that, right? You know what? Let's not lock this anymore. Let's unlock this. There we go. Oh, we, yeah, I keep forgetting you can just leave them. I keep forgetting that they float, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so tractor. Put this on top here. 
Ooh, there we go. I mean, you, you get the idea. I'm not the most creative person in the world, so I can't really like build a level out of, you know, you know, out of scratch. But these tools that Anton are, are continually adding to the toolbox just make it easier to uh, make levels. Let's just, oops. That's, uh, I need to lock that, so lock that. Like that kinematically. Oops. Tractor. All right. Uh, I need to rotate that as well. So. Okay. Tractor that. Bad boy on top. Oops. Go like that. And then just to see if this will work. Unlock that. There we go. Now it's standing on its own. Something like that. And then... Oh, this one's still floating. <laughs> and then we can have a little fun. Let's uh, get rid of these panels for right now. And let's just put this one back. Close this. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I'm not really the most creative person out there. So designing levels are going to be a bit hard for me. But for all you uh, creative types out there, these tools will make it a lot more easier to make levels. Oh, I forgot to lock that one. Oh, you know what? I should have saved the uh, the uh, scene first, but that's okay. Cool. Let's leave that floating there. But yeah, that's the. I mean, that's the point of all these uh, new panels and stuff. Especially the item spawner. That's pretty cool. Now we can just uh, spawn whatever we need, and uh, you know. That's a... Well, you know, I don't know why I'm doing this. I could just uh, restart the scene and then clear it. Actually, you know what? Ah, so you can save and load. I think it's just, uh... I think it's just, uh... Yeah, I think it's just uh, guns right now. Oh, these are the ones I made, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. I made these. People he forgot. Uh, how do I spawn this? I completely forgot. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, that's right. I have to use a stylus. All right, so let's grab ourselves a... Uh, Let's see. These are all the pistols, right? Uh, let's be tactical. Let's spawn this. Uh, oh, there we go. Oops. I spawned two of them. All right. This should be loaded. Cool, cool. Yes, 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 yes. All right, cool. Get rid of that. There we go. You know what? We need to clean some stuff up. Ah, there we go. Cool. Let's spawn ourselves a couple of targets here. Steel targets. Do, 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 do. Get some Ipsic targets. Get the standard black ones for right now. Yeah, I don't know why I'm spawning so many of these, but whatever. We have the power to. It doesn't really matter. We can do whatever we want now. You know what? Let's also spawn. Uh, let's also spawn a uh, dueling tree. Yes. 
Uh, you know what? Maybe some poppers as well. Put some poppers in here. Uh, uh, we'll fix those. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't know why there's in such a random position, but fix all that in a minute. Let's rotate these. Do, do, okay. That. Come on, there we go. It's pointed at my general direction. Oops. Kind of getting covered up there. There we go. This one is fine, right? No, we need to turn this around. There we go. Oh, that needs to be touching the floor. Okay. We'll uh, fix that in a minute. You know what would be a good option, though? I think uh, if I could suggest something to Anton, I'll, I'll, I might try to do this, but we need a we need a little button that um, I don't know if this is I don't know if this is feasible or possible, but we need a button that when you press it, it instantly faces you, right? The player. I don't know if this button does that. That's a reset now, so we're gonna have to manually. You know, you want to just plop something down and then just press the button. You know, like F or something, and it'll face you, right? That one, let's just uh, grab this. Come on, there we go. Kind of hard. Uh, it's a little hard to uh, get the uh, ball targeted there, but uh, once you do, got it. Put it like that. Gotta click the X every time. So, oh, come on. There we go. Face me. Face me. Oh, gotta click that X. That could be also a thing that uh, I could ask if. Uh, no, maybe that's a for a reason. Oh, let me just uh, stretch my hand out here. Oh, I got the trigger finger again. Okay. All right, all right. Need to relax for a bit. Okay. All right. Sure. <laughs> I'll just uh, get through this. But yeah, so now you can spawn stuff. Oh, where's my laser? There we go. <laughs> oh, terrible! I'm uh, terrible at this. All right, yeah. So you can you can make your own courses now, which is uh, pretty cool. Again, you can't really save and load. I don't think you can save and load stages yet. That will come in future updates. Yeah, no, it's uh, been disabled for right now, but. Uh, with these new tools, it makes it a whole lot easier, at least. I should I should put a box around here. This is where you should stand, because they're all facing this direction. So, I mean, if I go over here, then it's kind of like, you know, they're not really, not really a good area right now. But right here, I think. Yeah, we'll do that one more time. That was fun. I like that. Oops. Something like that. You know, I mean, again, I'm not the best shooter in the world, but, you know, you can uh, build your own course now. Maybe I can practice. <laughs> uh, well, one, I have the time. But, uh, yeah, there you go. You can, all these new tools, especially the item spawner, this is like, this is the really coolest thing there right here. You can spawn a whole bunch of stuff now. 
without without having to run th see this is this was a kind of a thing that uh uh, was uh, kind of hard to do earlier before this was introduced like you would you know if you wanted to make a course you would you would constantly have to run back towards the atom spawner this solves a whole lot of par uh, problems right here so barriers okay cool yeah little jug you know what cool mm. and this stuff you have to manually rotate so, it's just a potato. Oops. Oh, how do I? Yeah, there we go. And then you want track tour, right? So, we're going to stand right here. Okay, let's just do uh, this over here. Oh, this one actually should be on the ground. Yeah, there we go. So, I guess we can just stick the box here. Oops, kind of move that a bit. I'm going to do that. And we'll lock this. Let's see, we want to lock from people from moving it, and we also want to lock it kinematically. So now, if we try, I don't think I can do this here. Yeah, I can't grab it. Okay, good. So this is where you stand. I don't know why there's a barrel there. Uh, with that tractor. Put it right there. That's where you put the gun, right? I think I uh, despawn. No, it's right there. Okay, cool. Get rid of that for right now. Stand here. And uh, yeah, you know, grab the gun. Oh, I should have locked the barrel. I completely forgot about that. No. Reload. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I can't wait till the uh, save load system is finished so that uh, I some people who are more creatively better than me can make some crazy courses. And uh, yeah, that, that's going to be great. Uh, the whole save load system needs uh, uh, to be introduced, though, so... But it's going to be really great once that uh, once that stuff is uh, out there and uh, for people to use. But yeah, there we go. I think that uh, that's all in the patch notes that was added. There, there's some other fixes and stuff. Uh, like, for example, just a quick one. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to run to the uh, to the item spawner anymore. It's right here. Uh, let's load up the. Oops. Let's load up the submachine gun. I think Anton fixed this. Vector. Take a while for load. There we go. And I think this has been fixed. Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. So basically, uh, there was a bug before that if you grab the uh, foregrip here, the magazine would auto eject that has been fixed so now you can just grab it and to eject the magazine you actually have to press the touchpad on this controller touchpad down that's me that's me ejecting it that's the gun is the gun is fine see i can grab it now <clears throat> it's good and um let's put this on fire I think I chambered a round. Yep, I did.
three round burst. Oh, I need to spawn a couple more magazines. <laughs> They're all on the ground. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You know what? Full auto, man. Let's go full auto. Oh, I keep forgetting that the grab point is, is... I always think the grab point is here now. No, it's been moved, so it's over here. <laughs> Not bad, considering that there are no sights on this gun. I'm trying my hardest, but... Uh, Yeah, I like I'm so used to the vectors like grab point being over here that I <laughs> I need to remember it's over here now. It's not here. There's nothing here you can grab. It's over here. So that's going to be a change that I'm going to have to get used to. Oh, it's too far. Still too far. Yeah, like I said, uh, the item spawner being portable now is just going to make things a whole lot better. So I don't have to run over there anymore and show you and, and try to get the vector when I can just spawn it right here and uh, have some fun. And what else can we spawn? Just for just for kicks, the last, uh, last gun here. Let's grab ourselves a... Uh, no, locomotion options. Actually, you know what? Oh, I'm so used to, like, spawning the button here. Grab ourselves a... And it spawns ammo automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. Or... I think that's too far. Yeah, that's too far. That's, that's out of my wingspan. Eh? Maybe not. Hold on. Let me just, uh... Check here. Oh, barely. I can't. I can't grab it. All right. Oh, it's too far. Uh. Oh, that's still too far. That's too far. <laughs> that's not good. Always keep this loaded. But I think I can climb this now. Good enough. This one is a little too far. Nope, that's actually pretty good. All right. Oh, that might be too far. Oh, no, it's just right. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, oh, I got it. <laughs> it might be too far. All right, we're on the we're on the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this is great. I like yeah, this game is so good. Oh, I should have. You know what? I have all these bullets here. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can, we'll have to just, uh, just, you know, do a little climbing here. Oh, this game, I love this game so much. Oh, it's too far. Oh, got it. I'm gonna shoot. Okay, I think I got that one. Oh, wingspan. Okay. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. I'm alive. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I think those are all. Just spend all day climbing, I guess.
that four? Yeah, whatever. Oh, close enough anyways. There we go. I think I can reach it. I got it. Oh, man. Okay. Oops, I don't want to fall. Oh, just wasted a bullet. Oh, I don't know if I can reach that. <laughs> That's a... Right there. Yeah, I'll just eject those. Uh, it's, it's, that doesn't matter. All right, cool. I don't know why I decided to shoot two of those. Oh, man. Okay, maybe I should get closer. Do it one at a time, you know? Should have done that. Go. Can I reach it? Oh, I got it. Made it. Okay. Uh, one right there. One right there. Need to get closer. Oh, I'm out. Need to reload. Ugh. Wait. Ah, that's fine. Okay. That'll work. Oof. Hmm, three? This would give me three. Hmm. Okay, cool. My climbing gym. Does it give me three? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. All right, well. Cool. <laughs> I made it all the way up there. Oh, no, my thumb. Oh, my hand again. All right, I think that's about it for today. That was fun taking a look at the new stuff, but uh, my hands are getting a little uh, bad, so... I will catch you guys next time.